Now you may have noticed for this one there's only two homework assignments and really those two homework assignments are going to work with the same data set. So in a sense there's only one homework assignment. But we finally gotten to where we can have a high level of complexibility. We can have nonlinear terms and categorical and numerical and interactions which kind of don't actually show up in this particular data set. But multicollinearity, trying to decide which variables are important or not. So it makes sense that we can't do a whole lot of these as homeworks. So this is going to be the FoxBooks data set. We have customers and temperature and humidity and advertisements, whether there was a children's hour and whether the cashier was patient and mean and fast and slow. So these are all the different variables. I want you to go through and analyze it and try to predict customers as best you can. I'll give you a warning. There are some errors in the data set that you're expected to find and to deal with and handle. Um, and then talk about just the distribution for customers because if a client brought you this data set, you might want to say, here's the kinds of customers that come in, here's on average, here's the standard deviation for the customers, and then each of these variables, here's how they further give us insight as to how many customers are coming in. And here's a hint that you'll find some nonlinear relationships going on. And so come up with what form you think the regression equation should have, and then go through and take out the terms that shouldn't be there. There's your model selection, which is what we've talked about in this chapter. And finalize your equation and give me the R squared, the standard error. There's no report here. This homework 16 is just show me that you can do it. And the idea is that you go through and you do a little explanation, even do a prediction, and I can report and say, yes, you're doing a good job, or no, you're way off track, before you write the big report. And the next homework is actually going to be the big report. So because this data set is so complex, we're going to spend a week basically looking at it and saying, do you have the right model? And then you can spend a week actually writing about it. There is a little bit of a bonus here for interested students that the cashier could be more complex. Um, if you look at it, you'll see that it has two different types of categories that are combined into one. If you uncombine them, you can get some insights. You're not expected to do that. It's just kind of bait for those who like to go the extra mile. Originally, I had cashier as attractive and not, and I decided that was possibly going to get me in trouble because you just have to be careful the words you use. So here's your data set. Go through it. And in the next video, we'll talk about the report.